Welcome back guys. Um, I was asked to provide information on how to remove a swap partition from your system uh, after you've done the install. So let's say for example you do a uh, an install and you let the installer take care of your partitioning you might end up with a swap file or a swap partition that's larger than you wanted or <coughs> you may add RAM to your machine and end up with uh, 16 gigs of RAM and then there is no need at that point for a swap partition. So if you want to remove that swap partition it's pretty easy. Now you can do it a couple different ways. Um, if you're working with one install on a hard drive then what you'll want to do is create a bootable Ubuntu USB boot into that USB and then bring up Gparted while you're in the live system then you can have access <clears throat> to your main hard drive from within the live system and you can make some modifications to your petitions now I have multiple petitions on this one hard drive so I'm just going to do it from um, the installation that I'm in. I'll bring up Gparted and you'll see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so within Gparted on my system my SDB uh, disk has multiple Linux distributions on it. As you can see I have Manjaro Sparky Linux and Ubuntu. Now I have an 8 gigabyte swap drive <clears throat> and so we'll uh, go under the assumption that I don't need that. Now I am in Sparky Linux right now but if I if you were booted into your live USB what you would do to remove that swap petition first of all you're gonna highlight it in Gparted and then you're going to click Petition and then click Swap Off. So that will enable you to modify that petition. At that point, if you want to reduce the size of the petition, you would highlight it and click Resize. Then what you could do, if you wanted to, I have an 8 gig, so if I wanted to make it a 4 gig, I would and, and I had this type of scenario I would start on the left and shrink it down to 4 gig and then click resize click OK now you can see it's going to open up some free space so I can add that to my Ubuntu uh, installation take advantage of that extra free space so I'll click on petition click on resize and as you can see I've got some res free space here I'm just gonna take that free space and click resize so now I have expanded my SDB3 or my Ubuntu Mate pet petition and I've shrunk my swap petition to 4 gig Okay, but I'm not done yet. Now, I, in order to do that, I have to click the apply. So now, once I click apply, it's going to go ahead and, and, and go through the process. So I'm going to click apply, and then I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back when that is done. It's a pretty easy situation. Now, that what I showed you just now is how to resize your swap. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to eliminate it. So be right back. And I'm going to click Apply. Okay, so as you can see, it finished up pretty, pretty quickly. And I now have an expanded Ubuntu Mate peti a petition with a smaller swap. And that's as easy as it gets. Now if you want to remove that swap petition and I don't really need it, I actually created that just for this video, I'm going to eliminate it. So now I'm going to highlight the swap petition 
and I'm going to delete it as you can see I'm just gonna click delete now if if your swap was off, uh, on you'd have to click swap off but right now since I just finished modifying uh, the swap had not been turned on yet so I'm gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna click delete now I've deleted my swap petition and I've got that free space that I want to take so I'm going to click my Ubuntu Mate petition again and I'm going to click on resize and then just take that arrow and move it to the right to take up that free space click resize now you can see the swap is gone the Ubuntu Mate petition has been expanded and but it's not done until I click apply so I'm gonna click apply this actually shouldn't take very long at all okay so that is done now I am using that I had been using the swap in Sparky because I created it and then the last step is I added it to my fstab file so if I pull up my fstab file and this is the fstab file in Sparky because that's where I am I'm in Sparky Linux you can see by this symbol I'm in Sparky so I had added that fstab the uh, swap petition to my fstab file now that I've eliminated that swap petition I need to modify my fstab file so I'm going to open it up and you can see the swap file have had been added now what I'm going to do and I can't do it right now because I don't have permissions but I'm gonna just highlight this and, and delete it and then save the fstab file but in order to do that I need to uh, modify that with root permissions so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to go to a terminal and sudo leafpad fstab there is my fstab file now I'm in there as root I can eliminate that and save it okay and so now that is it once I've modified that fstab file my swap is gone uh, my system is not going to look for it when it boots up and so I should be able to reboot into this system with no problems at all and I'm going to test that I'll be right back with you guys don't go away okay guys I'm back into my sparky system no problems at all <clears throat> the the uh, fstab file was modified my petitions have been adjusted on my SDB as you can see everything is great so that's how you can resize or eliminate your swap petition after you've gone through the install this should and this method works on uh, really any um, I've tested it on Arch Debian um, Ubuntu no problems at all so guys that is it for this video I hope you uh, enjoyed it I hope I answered your questions if you had any questions regarding elimination of swap file uh, thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care